Hello, it is Saturday and there was still some ESL1 this morning and I watched VP play a best of three against VG. They lost, unfortunately, and there is another series going on right now, but it is Del Mar International Horse Show season finale or something this week. So I really wanted to go to the Del Mar, I don't know, the Del Mar place, wherever it's held. And I wanted to go check it out because last week when I was in Utah, there was actually some really cool events there and I was kind of sad to miss it. So this week it's still happening, but I think that the events are probably like more low key and not as prestigious as last week. So still worth going to see, I think. I just want to look at horses. I'm going to bring my book, Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King to read during any downtime. And this is... <sighs> what I'm wearing. I have my denim jacket on just in case it gets chilly. It's kind of hot out here, but Del Mar tends to be more windy, breezy, so it might be colder over there. And this seems like it would be comfortable where if I get hot, I could always take this off, but I think I should be fine. All right, I am going to go. show and there's actually not that many people here which is very surprising although I guess it's kind of typical since this week is not as exciting as last week I honestly don't really know much I just wanted to be here and see the atmosphere since there's nobody here I'm basically sitting right in front which is really cool I'm trying to get good shots of them jumping over with my continuous shot on the camera but it's not really working out that well yet uh, I think I need to get better at focusing at the right moment maybe, so the camera knows what to focus on as it's moving. But yeah, I got my book. So since there's downtime right now, I'll read a little bit. I am back in my car after being at the horse show for about two hours, and honestly, I would have loved to stay around more. There are just several factors and things that I feel whenever I'm around horses, and sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. So first off, I feel like I'm just done trying to dress fashionable because I feel like anytime I do, I just end up feeling cold, especially if it's an outdoor thing. So today I checked the weather for Del Mar and it said it would be high 73 or something, but I think it might just be more windy around here. So I have this denim jacket on and I have a long sleeve on underneath, but honestly, this is so thin that it's not gonna do anything. And I was just cold in there. I also wore the wrong shoes. I wore my flats and these flats, even with a good amount of walking, they really start to hurt the sides of my feet. So I'm so tired of discomfort from fashionable items of whatever the fuck I'm wearing. Uh, it's so stupid and I'm really over living that way. 
So I already listed, I think I'm going to try to go through my wardrobe and see if there's anything that's worth reselling. Um, I think majority of them, unfortunately, is not. But for some of the really nice shoes that I bought recently, like my Valentino booties, I'm going to try to list those up for as close to however much I paid for them because they're still in really, really good condition. And I bought them when they were on sale. So the original price was like $1,200 and I got them for $800. So I'm going to try to hopefully sell them at a similar price on eBay. It does feel silly to sell this early. I have only had them for a couple months, but I don't enjoy wearing them anymore. They're beautiful, but I have noticed any time that I've worn them, I just want to change out of them immediately because they're so freaking annoying to wear. I'm, I don't even think I want to wear heels anymore. Aside from fashion discomfort and being cold out there, I tend to feel really frustrated uh, whenever I'm around horses because it feels like a forbidden thing for me and at times it can bother me a lot or I feel upset because I see these girls riding on the horses and I just feel like they're so privileged to have that good luck. Maybe not all of them are rich. I would say majority of them are rich though. So to have that privilege of riding probably all expenses paid by their parents every single aspect of riding being just taken care of and they don't have to worry about any of that and all they do is just get so many opportunities to ride do these competitions and have all the outfits and riding gear all of that adds up to so much money and sometimes when I'm around here I just feel kind of sad because I really want to have like the least interactive aspect of riding, which is just riding. I don't care about these jumping things. I feel like I could possibly be good at something like that because I just feel like this sort of thing reminds me of athleticism and I'm a very athletic person so I feel like I could be good at it. Aside from all of that, it's just so expensive to do. And I have dug myself into a really bad hole of debt recently. So I just think it would be so unwise for me to continue taking horseback riding lessons, even though I want that interaction with horses once in a while, you know, because I really, I've, I've always wanted to since I was a kid and it kind of sucks to be 27 years old and still feel like it's out of reach for me. So basically, whenever I come to places like this, I just look at the horses and then I look at the people riding it so casually, right? They have access to it so casually. And I just think about how my experience with horses is going to be something that will happen maybe 10 years later. I really don't see it happening that much sooner because my dream is just mainly I want to own a horse. I want it on my property. And I mainly just want a horse to ride. I don't care about any other aspect. I just feel like I would enjoy going on a trail on a horse, riding out in open fields on a horse, just riding the horse. Oh, don't mind me. It's actually kind of hot in here and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna eat right after this, but you know what? I came home and I was just so motivated to look at ranches again, to look at lesson prices and see if it's actually something I could manage. Um, I really didn't feel like it was that far-fetched to find a stable that would offer private lessons around the $50 range. Maybe I wouldn't even need to do private. Private feels like a luxury at times. But anyways, another aspect that I really wanted to focus on lately is budgeting, right? I have never really been the budgeting type and I feel like it's a little pathetic for it to take this long for me to realize that it's a problem because I definitely feel like I make enough money where I shouldn't feel like I'm poor, but I feel like I'm poor whenever it comes to wanting to buy the things that I want. So something like horseback riding lessons, I feel like it would cost like two to three hundred dollars a month. And I do think that I could manage an expense like that if I budget properly and at the same time I feel like I could pay off my credit card debt 
while taking that on. Of course, I want to make sure that I can pay my debt at the same time. Otherwise, it's just stupid for me to take lessons at the same time and not allocate that money towards paying the cards off. It just makes me sad sometimes to feel like I am, I've been so bad with my money. So right when I got home, I listed a ton of stuff on eBay that I felt like held value where I could sell it off for a reasonable price where I wouldn't be losing too much money. So I have a bunch of stuff up and I look forward to when they sell, but I'm also going to, I guess, reach out to a couple stables and I wanna see if there's going to be any weekly lessons where I can afford it per month. And I just really want to turn my life around in this aspect because it's, I'm so tired of feeling like I can't afford things when I definitely can. It's just that I tend to buy on a whim. It's not even that I'm buying super useless stuff, but I do think there's certain aspects I could definitely modify a little bit. Like for example, recently I decided I am going to stop buying this specific shampoo that I've been buying where it's like uh, close to $20 for eight ounces and it runs out really quick. So I'm buying these maybe monthly and I feel like that's kind of way more than I need, especially since I really am not that focused on freaking how my hair feels after the shampoo. I feel like a lot of them kind of do the same. So that is something I could definitely lower in cost. Yeah, I wanna see how well I can refrain from buying useless stuff this month. I wanna try to keep my spending super low this month. I wanna see if I can do it. Cause if I can, it'll be such a confidence booster and then I will feel like I can save better and you know, put myself in a better position in life. Because at this rate, if I continued, I would not be able to buy a house, not even close, Within 10 years, I feel like not even close. So if I want certain dreams of mine, I have to address this now. All right, wow, it's freaking hot, but I am going to eat and watch a movie. Tomorrow is ESL1 finals in the morning. BP is playing lower bracket finals because they lost today. So they went from the upper bracket to the lower. So hopefully they win. If not, there is a Chinese team in the finals. So I'm still happy about that. I'm so happy that there's Dota to watch again, and then the major will be at the beginning of November, so not that long later.